Just be good. Good girl. Did you like those chicken wings? Yep. Hey, you little, you little <laughs> shit. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the video. Today is Saturday, August 20th, which officially marks baby Charlie Grace at five weeks and one day old, which is crazy to think. It feels like we just had Charlie a week ago. I'm letting the dogs out right now, and we just woke up a little bit ago, around 7 a.m., but what I'm gonna do today is film a full day in the life. Life is a little different now with the baby, but uh, I'm gonna train today. I'm gonna train legs, I'll show you what I'm eating, show you what we're doing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now, one thing that I have discovered about babies and that Charlie and I have in common is that our mood is directly dependent upon our bowel movements. And I can tell Charlie's getting ready to make a bowel movement, and so am I. You can see it in the face. That face is I'm working a poop right now. So one of the first things that we do every single morning is come outside. Charlie loves being outside. She can be fussy and crying and something about the fresh air and natural light really calms her down. And with our backyard being completely done now, it's just like the perfect timing. We sit out here every single morning and drink my coffee. She gets some stimulation time in and maybe some tummy time if she's in the right mood. And we just enjoy the not so hot temps this early, but it will be like perfect in the fall. So I've got everything laid out that I'm making for breakfast. I just mixed up my morning supplements. What I have here is some sourdough from Easy Tiger, which is a local bakery. We have some fresh farm eggs from Shirtel Creek Farm, some blueberries, a banana, and I'll show you the subs. So in the shaker bottle here, I have one scoop of strong reds, one scoop of strong greens, and then soft gels and capsules. I have four capsules, which is one serving of strong multivitamin, two soft gels of strong omega, which is our fish oil, and then one capsule of strong joints for joint support, which is right there. So I'm gonna knock this back, start making breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm going carb heavy because we have a big lower body strength training day today and I'm really looking forward to heavy squats. But I gotta share something with you guys. The way I get these shots sometimes, I have to get creative. And the way I'm getting creative with this shot is I'm using a zucchini. There's a zucchini under the lens to prop it up and leverage it so that I can see myself and my breakfast. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Mmm. Great crunch. Now before we dive any deeper into this video, I wanna let you know it is sponsored by Simply Safe who offers 24 seven home monitoring security for less than $1 a day and no long-term contracts. Now I have been using Simply Safe for a few years now and for a few reasons. One, setup is super easy. Two, you don't need a service appointment and everything gets delivered right to your door. And three, it is extremely affordable. So when I first moved to Texas and I bought my first home, I was suckered into a long-term contract with a home security system. And when I say long-term, it was seven years. I had to end up buying out of that contract to leave that company. And I wish I would have found a company like Simply Safe that it does not hold you to a long-term contract. So let me show you the equipment, how to set it up and how easy it is. Now the first thing you're going to do when all your equipment gets delivered is you're going to plug in your base station. Your base station is going to connect to your keypad and your keypad is what arms and disarms your system. From there, you are going to connect all of your other devices as well as make sure that you put your Simply Safe sign in the front of your yard to make sure everyone knows you have home security. So based off the system that you purchase, you will get some different devices that you can pair to your base station. For example, there is a video doorbell. There is a carbon monoxide detector. 
you have a glass break, motion detector, entry control points for your windows and doors, and a smoke detector. And those are just a few of the options that you can connect. So if you're in the market for a new home security system for less than $1 a day and no long-term contracts, go to simplysafe.com slash Nick Bear to get 20% off when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and your first month for free. So thank you, Simply Safe, for sponsoring this video. So we're heading to HQ right now. We're gonna grab a workout, but I'm also taking the golf cart back to uh, BPN as well because we recently acquired more office space, which means more traveling. Hold on, we're about to hit it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we good. Uh, we got more office space, which means more traveling back and forth to offices, and I think the golf cart will make for uh, convenience. All right, pre-workout stack. We got one scoop of flight, and I'm going to time this perfectly, which anyone that has kids can probably uh, relate to this. Timing your pre-workout with your workout can be very challenging because sometimes you take the pre-workout and then it's like two hours later you're training because you gotta change something, you gotta blow out. So we're gonna try to time this right. And then I want to give it endo pump. So flight, endo pump, creatine, All in there, shaken, not stirred, on, we're gonna do it on the rocks. Get a little spicy. On the rocks. Shake weight style. I'm such a dad like <laughs> on the rocks. Garage doors down. All right. I think. <laughs> Who knows these around? days? I'm <laughs> um, just trying to check. Yeah. I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo these days. Something happens and then I forget right away. Did I do it? It's down. Perfect. Yep. We're good. <laughs> I'm taking up eight parking spaces because I can. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Let's see how this goes. I wonder if she pooped. That's what our days revolve around now. Poop. Next poop and Charlie's poop. That's right. So we're kicking off this workout with some extensions and curls. This is what I'm calling the pre-exhaustion set prior to going into barbell squats. My goal today is just to absolutely destroy my lower body. So here's a way that I like to finish off my pre-exhaustion set. And it is what you call a giant set. Now, I'll show you how to do this, but essentially, I'm gonna do as many reps as possible with extensions. And I'm gonna rest for a short period of time. I'm gonna drop the weight by 10 pounds. I'm gonna leave my legs right here. As soon as I bring them out, that blood flow can move around my legs. Similar to blood flow restriction training, I wanna keep the blood right here. Going into that second, third, and fourth set 
of that giant set because it's gonna feel like your legs are about to explode. So here we go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep them there, drop it by like ten. Now right now, I can feel this blood. It wants to leave. It wants me to extend my legs and let the blood move throughout my body. But I'm saying no, I'm keeping it right here. Second set. Six, seven, uh, uh, ah. keep it there, drop it by 10. Oh, I want to destroy my legs today. I just want to fucking destroy my legs. here. <sighs> Alright, last set here. Drop by 10. We're at 90 pounds. There's a cold feeling circulating right here. Last set. As many reps as possible. Five. Seven. Seven. Let's get ten. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That's how we're kicking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Now one thing when I'm lifting lower body and I'm barbell squatting, you're not gonna find me doing like three to four sets. I'm doing like six to 10 to 12 sets. I'm doing a lot of volume on barbell squats. That's one way I love to and recommend programming barbell squats for lower body strength days. Now I've shown you guys the sludge bowl. This is the bare bulking bowl. This is what changes. With the sludge bowl, I typically do one scoop of whey protein, one scoop of vegan protein. With the bulking bowl, I do a serving, which is three scoops of strong food. So this is a, this is a chocolate strong food 
per serving, which is three scoops, 15 grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein. So I have the three scoops in here, just to get more calories in. You can add milk, you can add water. Now the main carb source in this meal replacement is gluten-free oats. So it's a really solid carb source, but you can taste the oats, which is a good thing. I love the taste of oats. So we wanna get this a perfect consistency. I like it thicker. This is a little, actually no, this is, this is perfect right here. This is perfect. Come back over here. Mm. Now, let me get it, let me get a clean spoon because community almond butter. We're family here. We're all family. I'm gonna do a heaping scoop of almond butter. So this will probably put me at about 30 grams of fat for this bowl. Maybe a little bit more with the cacao nibs. I know, there's some almond butter in the honey, but the honey and almond butter is typically used together. And, I mean, you can really spice this up with whatever you want. Sometimes if I want more fat, I'll throw pumpkin seeds in or unsweetened coconut flakes. I'm just gonna throw some cacao nibs in there for a little crunch. This is a quick post-workout meal before we head out. This is easy, easy way to get a good solid uh, amount of calories, but an actual meal in. That's not gonna make you super full. So I can have another meal after this in about two hours. Mm. Yes. So these wings are from Farmhouse Delivery, part of uh, the local food co-op we're a part of that gets delivered every week. We get fruit, vegetables, meat, eggs, bread. Uh, these are a, a, a blackened spice marinated chicken wing that we got in this week's order that we're about to throw in the green egg. Okay, so as the wings finish up, this is what we're gonna split. Me and Yoli are gonna split the wings. Steph's gonna have some wings too. And then me and Yoli have a bowl of fruit. So we have blueberries, raspberries, a peach, and then half of a cantaloupe sliced up. So this will be our carb source and the wings will be our proteins and our fats. This is beautiful. There's nothing like a plate full of wings. Now, a lot of the fat in wings does come from the skin, but also if you're going out to like a restaurant or a bar and you're getting chicken wings, they're deep fried, which adds a whole nother level of complexity to the fat level. You can either throw them on the grill, you can bake wings, you can air fry wings, but these look really good. So, we're about to go dive in. Yeah, that smells great. All right, let's test these. Drumstick or flat? Drumstick. Mmm. Flavor is very, very good. With wings, typically blue cheese. Okay. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a wing on the grill is never gonna beat a deep fried wing. Dude, these are good. Yeah, they're good, right? I'm usually not like a wing guy either. Really? Like, yeah. 
like most times if people are like, oh, let's go out to eat. Do you want to go to Wings or this other place? Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna choose this other place. But these are solid. Wings are literally one of my favorite, one of my favorite things to eat. Yeah, that green egg cooked them at like a good, good temp. You get a really good like, uh, because it gets so hot, you get a really nice like crisp, crispness to it. You're solid. <sighs> <laughs> well, I like honestly, I like uh, sometimes I like wings that have a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So I bet you take the peach balances out that. We have mango habanero. Yeah, so you should try that one day. You should try marinating wings with some kind of like peach flavor or something. Be good. Cause I like when, I like when spice is paired with sweetness. Mm -hmm. Like if you ever get like a cocktail that has a, like a fruitier cocktail, but then the outside has that tahini, mm -hmm. like spiced outside. Big food people at BPN. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty impressed. Like these turned out really well. Yeah, these are really good. Over here? He's so confused. <gasps> Look. Oh, uh, riders here too. <laughs> That's good, right? All right, Rye, come here. How many wings do you think you could eat? Like, if someone's like, you eat, have to eat these wings until you like can't eat any more. This size? Or yes, bigger? this size. Uh, let me see. Right now, I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably twenty. Yeah. I think I can get down twenty. I think I'd do thirty. Thirty? Yeah. You might be able to do more, to be honest. You should really put your mind to it. Just be good. Good girl. Did you did you like those chicken wings? Did you like those chicken wings? Yep. Hey, you little, you little <laughs> shit. There's no bones. It was just... One second. You got caught. Thanks for coming to eating with Nick Bear. Until next time. Until next time. As I've talked about before with Charlie, she doesn't like sitting still. She likes to always be moving. She likes to be moving. She likes the sun and she likes the warmth is why she loves being outside, for one. But this, this baby Bajorn that I wear, get a little hop step, a little bump, she loves this. Don't you? See? Yeah. This has been my secret to keeping her chill. We should do a little bit of singing and dancing. Isn't that right? Do you love this? Yes. Yeah, I think she's about to pass out, which is glorious. So we're about to make dinner for the evening and I'm gonna walk you through all of the ingredients that we'll be using for this dinner. So the main protein source is this skirt steak we got from Farmhouse Delivery. It is already marinated. Uh, we're going to throw that on some of these corn and flour tortillas. We got an H-E-B, some Cotija cheese cilantro, avocado. Uh, on the side, we will have some shiitake mushrooms, which I love, broccolini, squash. Uh, some of the seasonings we'll be using, just some sea salt here. And these are some seasonings from Farmhouse Delivery as well. And then some olive oil for the veggies. So this is going on the Traeger, this stuff's going on the stovetop, and we'll get started. And the final product is done. We are about to dive in. I have three tacos or fajitas. Steph has two. So we have the skirt steak on the corn and flour tortilla with cojilla cheese, cilantro, and uh, avocado. And I tried the meat already. The meat is out of this world. That marinade is, uh, is insane. And over here we have the broccolini, the shiitake mushroom, and the squash and zucchini that was just cooked over some olive oil. This is gonna be good. Now, like I said, I uh, already dove into some of the meat as I was cooking it up or cutting it up. 
That's one of the best parts about cooking and cutting up the meat is you get to sample it as you are preparing the meals for people. And I would argue that the best tortilla in the world is a combination of flour and corn. Because I love the flavor of corn, but I don't like the flexibility of corn. When you have a flour and corn hybrid, you get the flavor of corn, but the flexibility of flour, which is out of this world. Mmm. That cilantro just hits right. 